are watching da Ella 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 Hey Hey You're watching da Ella 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 Hey Hey All right, what's up y'all? I'm coming to you with a quick video. Um I just got back from vacation and so I'm kind of looking rough. My skin has broken out. Um my edges are bad, everything. I got a raspy voice. Um I had a blast on vacation in North Carolina, but it took a toll on my body, so I'm back. I mean, the circles under my eyes, I didn't get enough sleep, everything, but we had fun. Look at all that. I mean, my forehead, I got some type of rash, heat rash. I don't know what's going on, but anyways, I'm here to do a quick review on my Ipsy bag this month. I wasn't really impressed with any of the beauty boxes that I received, so I'm going to start with Ipsy. Um, so it's just an orange bag. Um, I always like the bags. They're very um, useful. I like this little fake leather tassel thing. Um, so there's the bag. It's like a orange, orangish coral with yellow um, zipper. So let's just hop into it. Uh, okay, I'm going to talk about the thing that I disliked the most. And that is this volumizer. This is like a, a hairspray by... Um, I don't even know how to say that. Um, this will just be given away to a friend because I'm not going to use this on my hair. Um, it get like four and a half star rating, I think, and this size, um, which is 0.84 ounces, would sell for about $4.64. So, a decent size. Um, Again, I'm giving that away. I'm not even going to use it. My favorite item of the bag was this MAC mascara. Oh, where am I doing? And I get mascaras um, all the time, and I actually love getting them because they could be very expensive. So I'm glad to get little um, samples to try. And if I like them, then I can go out and spend the money on a full size. So this is called the MAC False Lashes Extreme Black. So I'm going to just try that on one eye to see what I think. I think I only own right now one MAC product and it's a lipstick and I actually got it free during the um, National Lipstick Day. Um, and I do like MAC products from what I've sampled. Um, they're just a little pricey. So we'll see what I think about this mascara. Um, so it's not bad. It doesn't clump up right away which I do like gives a little a little length um I've definitely used better uh, mascara than this but it does enhance them slightly I wouldn't say false lashes extreme I mean I don't see anything extreme um about that uh, and this goes for the full size of this um, $24 uh, for I think it was 8 grams. This didn't really have the size listed so I kind of had to guesstimate that this size here would be about $6. Um, that maybe this is about um, 2 grams. So this would be about $6 because it didn't have it listed on. But it's not bad so we'll see how it um, if it smears and if it clumps up but the application was really smooth. Um, I just, I don't normally wear falsies, so I like a little bit more um, dramatic lash with my mascara. So um, this is not definitely not the best that I've used. Um, I can see it a little bit, the difference. So just going to try it on the one eye. So that was the second thing. The third thing was another product I couldn't really find information on online. My lighting is kind of bad. Let's see. Oops, got this. I'm using my cell phone today and I don't have good light. Okay, so I'll read it. It says, answer from, and it's not centered. Like, I look at that stuff. Oh, me and my hands are looking at the camera. I can't ever coordinate it right. Okay, so if you look at that, the word, the two words aren't even, like, in the center of the bottle. It's kind of coming off to the side. So that's a bad um bad sign for me. I don't like that. It makes me think bootleg right away if it was supposed to be a real name brand something. And, um, and cheap because if you can't even get your label on correctly, what are we even doing here? So um, this says Black Volume Gold Radiance Cream with Blackberry Extracts. 
intense hydration, refreshing, soft moisturizer for all types of skin. So this is definitely probably something I'm not going to be using in my daily routine. So I just took the thing off of me. Let me smell. Oh, it's clear. Um, and it has, it has shimmer in it. So that must be the gold radiant that's listed on here. So let's see, can you see? You're not going to be able to see the shimmer, but there are like little gold shimmers that I'm just going to put it on my skin because why not? So, and it's supposed to be a hydrator. So it does, it just has like a clean smell. It doesn't have a strong smell. It doesn't smell bad. It smells just fresh, clean. And it's um a little tacky, almost like a cleanser. But it says it's, it's a moisturizer. So I'm only going to put it on one half of my face. Because I'm going to be doing reviews on my other beauty boxes after after this and I'm not sure I can't remember what was in those boxes so alright so I just put that on um it rubs in well it's not it's not really a, a little oily not greasy but a little it feels oily when I like rub it between my fingers but it feels more like a moisturizer it rubs in well um kind of tacky almost like if um you want, maybe could use it as a primer I'm not sure um but again I, I couldn't even find anything on this. Um, people were selling it like on Poshmark and stuff like that for anywhere between $5 and $7 for this size um, tube here. And it is a, what size is this? Okay, 0.28 ounces. So this was going for 5 to $7. I just don't think people knew what to sell it for because they couldn't find anything for it online either. Um, so, I'm not sure how much I can tell of how it's going to work by putting it there, but, um, it went on pretty well, so, very mild smelling. Another thing I got, you know, I go in, I update my preferences all the time, I rate what I get all the time, and I don't think they look at that stuff, so, I got an Ofra eyeshadow, and I know it's only $10, so I'm not really complaining, and I'm going to get things that I would never, ever try on my own like this blue eyeshadow it's actually um blue jeans is the color um so it's always good to like get new things because you never know maybe it'll it'll um it'll look nice so it comes right in here it's actually a full size and i don't have one of those like fancy palettes that i can put this in so i'm hoping to get one of those in a beauty bag at some point because I have a bunch of these little guys um and this is a full size and it goes for $12 so this alone pays for the bag and everything else was just kind of a bonus so I'm just gonna put just a little bit on let me just grab a brush where oh here we go just gonna I mean I'm only gonna do it again just on one eye just to see the pigmentation of it and to see how it goes on. I have Ofra lip, ooh, ooh, got too much. Ofra um, lipstick, and I kind of like it. I like the formula, so we'll see how this goes on. Oh, oh yeah, a lot of pigmentation there. I actually love the formula of this. So it almost. Let me read this. Okay, so it doesn't say, but it doesn't really go on like a powder. Goes on more like a cream. Oh. It's actually not bad, depending on the look I was going for. What I was wearing. I mean, and I'm just throwing it on there. So I done made a mess already outside my eye. But, um... It's not bad. I love the pigmentation. And you see what I mean about um, them just sending stuff I would never buy. So I would never find this color in a store and say, that's it. That's the color. Like, I, that, I just wouldn't do it. But um, to get it and to try it on, I mean, now I'll have it in my collection. And if I need a blue, a blue jean blue, I got it. And um, 
I love how it goes on. It was like, I mean, I, I kind of went heavy handed um, on my brush, but I just dabbed it in and then the coverage was all over the tip of that brush. So I'm actually loving the formula. Very, very nice. So we'll see if it lasts, if it creases. I'm um, not going anywhere. I'm cooking dinner after this. So I'm just going to leave it on um, and see and see what it does. See how it lasts, how it stays on. I have to definitely clean this brush when I'm done. So that was that. And I think I already told you it retails for $12. And last but not least, I got another brush. I always love brushes. Um weird it's another one of those sl miss glam brushes that i really couldn't find on the website um oh there it is the sl miss glam sg62 i couldn't see this through the plastic and i'm always struggling it look at what you know what doing this in reverse i'm just as you as you can see i'm challenged well, special in that area and to do all that and you still can't see it doesn't matter so right at the tip it just says the SO Miss Glam and it's the SG62 see if I would have had that maybe I could have found it um but anyways I did find um people selling these um through Poshmark um for anywhere between four dollars and thirteen dollars I think I saw it on eBay for four dollars new somebody was just selling it out of their Ipsy bag for four dollars and then Poshmark had it for thirteen dollars um so and this is a um a blusher brush so it's for blush um and it's nice and soft and I mean I have so many brushes I'll definitely use this and I am never mad to get a brush in one of my beauty boxes bags I'm never upset to get a brush because I will definitely definitely use it however I do hate the brushes that shed when you're on your face and stuck in your makeup so hopefully this one doesn't shed so, so far so good so we'll see so this month's beauty bag and I just did an estimate because there were a couple things that I couldn't find online um, so the total was between $32 and $41. So still for $10, I got a pretty good deal. Plus the bag, you know, you can't go wrong with getting these bags. They're not that cheaply made, so you can use them over and over again. And I do use all of my bags. Um, and when they get dirty, toss it out and you're gonna have a bunch as long as you keep your, um, subscription going. So thank you guys. That was my Ipsy bag for August, 2018. And I hope to do a review next month. Bye.